during your tennis career, you're going to come up against all kinds of serves. Some people are going to try to beat you by hitting the ball right by you with speed. Others are going to use spin. Some are going to use a little dink shot. That's very, very soft. And for every one of these serves, there's a way to handle them. And to show you how to handle them, let's go to Dennis Ralston. In your tennis career, you're probably going to face a variety of types of serves. We're going to try and give you some tips on how to handle those different types of serves. For the server who has a big, fast cannonball serve, we recommend that you move back a little further than your normal position. And what you do is that you take a much shorter swing and use your opponent's speed. When you're facing a server with a heavy top spin or a kick serve, it's really important to move in a little closer, get that ball a little early. It's also important not to let the spin hypnotize you. Now, when you're playing against a server with a good wide serve, sometimes you're going to have to move over a little bit more and cut down that angle. What you're doing is giving them a little more room to hit down to the center of the court, but you're changing their tactics. You're making them change what they're doing. When you're playing against a server with a good slice serve into the body, you're standing a little bit back of the line. You're going to have to move either to hit the ball inside out on the return, or as the ball slices into you, move away from it and hit a forehand. When you're facing the dink serve, you want to make sure that you move in a little closer to the net, get ready early, don't hit the ball too soon, and don't overplay the return. When you're playing against a left-hander, most players sometimes panic because of the spin. What I recommend is, from the deuce side, move a little bit over, more towards the center of the court. That makes the left-hander have to serve more to your forehand side if you're right-handed, which is not an easy serve for a left-hander. Also enables you to handle the slice serve, and then after you hit the ball, you're back into the court. From the ad side, again, you want to cut the angle down and force them to serve more down the middle. There are many tactics that you can use when you're playing against a server with a good serve to throw him off, to change his tempo. So hopefully some of these tips will help you when you return serve. That certainly was a great lesson from Denny Ralston, but I'd like to add a few thoughts in this area of return to serve. The first one is when you're playing a real good server, the only way you can help yourself is by trying to guess or anticipate where he's going to hit that serve. And you can do so by watching the toss. If your opponent places the ball out here to the right, the chances are he's going to develop a slice, which is designed to pull you wide in the court. If he places the ball up here directly overhead, he's going to try to come up with his fast serve, hitting the ball flat, going for an ace. If he goes over here back over the left shoulder, he's going to have to come up with the high kick or overspin, and you're going to have to move in on that one. Now, let's talk a little bit about what do you do when you play a short or maybe a bad serve. In my opinion, this is the best opportunity to really take control of the point. So when you see a soft one coming in, move in with it as close as you can so that you can really hit your big shot. I think you'll get control of the point and win a lot of them. And finally, in this court, the forehand court, there's one thing, whether it's a good serve or a soft serve. Try to get yourself in position to move around the ball so that you hit it on your forehand, ending up right here. You're in position to go any way you want, and therefore, you're in the best position. 